So we're on our way to the store to get some fresh produce and fruits and things that I'm not growing in the garden so that I can put together some recipes for my husband. Well, for my husband and I. So I'm at my favorite Mexican fruit market and I am getting some fresh vegetables and produce and I will be back with my end results. Okay, we're back. And this is everything that I got while I was out. This is my vegan inspired grocery haul. I went to three stores and I spent less than $30. So at the Mexican fruit market, I spent $10.89, and this is what I got. These blueberries and both of these strawberries were each a dollar. Bananas were $0.59 cents a pound. I got a bunch of cilantro, which was two for a dollar, so I, I only needed one. I don't like them to go bad before I can use them also. I got one of those. This bag of potatoes here was $1.69. These sweet potatoes were 59 cents a pound. I got three of those. I got a bag of lentils. It's a little over a pound for $1.19 a pound. So that's $1.30. And a bag of carrots. These were two for $1.39 or 79 cents a piece. So I got, I got one. And then I got a bag of 10 limes. So all of this all of this produce here that you see was a little over 10 bucks. $10, okay? Then I went to the Dollar Tree. I got two of the containers of oats, uh, two cans of coconut milk in a small thing of coconut oil. I went to Aldi's and then I got the breadcrumbs, three cans of garbanzo beans, those are 59 cents a piece. The breadcrumbs are, let me just check, I don't want to, the breadcrumbs were 79 cents. I got the all natural peanut butter, creamy peanut butter, and that was $1.39. 99 cents for the carrots, garbanzo beans, did I say 59 cents each? 59 cents each. Uh, the tomatoes were 99 cents, and then the mushrooms were 69 cents. So yeah, all together, I spent less than $30. Let's see, I got $7.81 and five, that's $12.81 and $10.89, that's 10, 22, 2360 2370 less than 25 bucks 2370 and what I plan to do with the potatoes the coconut milk and the chickpeas is make a potato chickpea curry I made this last night and it was, oh my gosh, it was so good. But I'm sad that I didn't make a lot of it because I loved it. My husband loved it. We even gave some to our friends and they loved it. So yeah, I will be making some more of that and I'm going to double the recipe this next time. So that's why I needed two cans of the coconut milk, plenty of potatoes, and lots of garbanzo beans. And then I also add to that recipe some of the greens that I'm growing outside. Lentils, we can. I can make lentils and we can add those to vegan meals throughout the week. Mushrooms, carrots, I can use carrots. These, these are the carrots I will use to um, shred up and combine with my black beans that I have cooking on the stove right now. And make black bean burgers, limes, you can always use lime juice to spruce things up. Sweet potatoes, I plan on making a sweet potato mash. Um, bananas, I will use with the oats for um, breakfast meals. 
So, yeah, tomatoes we can use in sandwiches and salads. These baby carrots I'm going to use for snacks and probably salads. So, that's the plan. And then, of course, peanut butter is such a great snack. That's all I wanted to bring to you today. I just wanted to share my grocery haul with you. Again, it was a vegan-inspired grocery haul because my husband and I are going to be working on this vegan diet for a while. See if we don't feel better or if we don't... I'm in it to lose some weight, and he's in it for both losing weight and feeling better. So um, it's kind of an experiment right now, but yeah. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, if you see, if you can think of a recipe that I haven't mentioned with the ingredients that I have here, then leave a comment. By all means, let me know what you would do with some of these ingredients. Till next time.